I have three Master of G G-Shock watch triple sensor model in front of me right now. This three is I believe to be the higher and triple sensor model on the market. The only three. By higher, I mean the price for this model is like 100,000 yen each and every one of this. Roughly, depending on the series name and the colorway. But you get the idea. Just in case you guys haven't heard of this G-Shock watches, this is the reference number for this model is GWN-Q1000MB for the Marine Blue series has the colorway rainbow ring on top of them. This is called the Quad Sensor Golf Master. The one on the right is the GWG-1000DC-1A5JF. This is a mod master with a mod resist structure triple sensor model. This is from the Desert Camouflage series, hence this colorway on the watch band. Now at the middle, this is the latest release from Castle G-Shock that is called the Rangeman. GPS Rangeman reference number GPR-B1000TLC Toyota, I mean sorry, Team Land Cruiser collaboration model, hence this logo and this navy blue or royal blue colorway for the watch band and those inserted a uh, couple fiber panel over there. So what I want to do in this video is mainly focusing on the sensors, specifically being the barometer and altimeter only. I'm not going to talk about the rest, although if I have time, I'm going to add them in here. So first of all, let's have a look at this Golf Master. This Golf Master is made purely for everyone or anyone at all who want to use or want a reliable barometer or atmospheric pressure gauge strap on your wrist. If your main tool or if the thing that you really want in a watch is altitude uh, measurement or compass, this is the watch for you. Hence this compass and LT quick access button on the side of the watch. This range man features the only uh, G-Shock watch on the market that has triple sensor and also a GPS navigation system built in it. So if you want navigation and you want triple sensor function, this is the watch for you. Alright guys, so for today's video, I'm just going to talk about the barometer of this entire G-Shock watch. I haven't calibrated the watch at all. I haven't performed any setup at all. This is just the watch right off from factory setting, right? So let's go to the barometer for this uh, range man first. Scroll the crown downwards, press this uh, navigation button over here to enter the barometer mode. So from here, we have a look right away at the barometer or atmospheric pressure reading in my room right now is 1010 hectopascal. All right, the barometer for this golf master is over here. There it is, barrel, and the reading for my golf master right now is 1010 hectopascal as well, which is impressive. To access the barometer uh, function on the mod master, which is up there, press the mode button once, and there it is. We are now also at 1010 hectopascal reading as well. So all these three G-Shock watches are showing 1010 hectopascal in my room. So that is very accurate in my opinions. So to compare for the barometer function, just a simple experiment like this just shows us that how precise the sensor is. The sensor is very reliable. It is placed below this disc, a metal frame protector for the arrangement, below that, for the mod master, below that metal part as well. Let's quickly understand how the sensors even work. As soon as you enter the barometer mode, the sensor will start working. That equals to it will keep updating to you guys this atmospheric pressure value every 5 seconds for the first 3 minutes. And then it will update the graph over here, which is the atmospheric tendency graph every two hours only and it will update to you guys as well if there are any change in atmospheric pressure using this analog hands as well up to range to plus minus uh, 10 hectopascal if you don't want this type of indicator you could use uh, the adjust button and then the hand will move to show us a time instead similar things apply to the one of this golf master model because both of this is analog digital and they operate in a similar manner so as soon as you enter the barometer mode for this uh, golf master model like this it will start doing the same thing which is update this atmospheric pressure values every five seconds for the first three minutes and then proceed when three minutes and it will update to every two minutes instead and it will update this graph to you every two hours as well except this golf master model has 
a little bit more specialty compared to other triple sensor model is that caster allow this watch to update to you every 30 minutes as well you could pull this crown and then you could set up the tendency either two hours update or 30 minutes updates for the graph and that is very cool in my opinion if you want to be a little bit more precise you could leave your watch to 30 minutes updates instead and then it will update this graph every 30 minutes each and every one of those square dots will represent hect 1 hectopascal and they will update to every two hours it have a maximum range of 20 hours similar as the one on this uh mod master every 20 hours but if you set this watch to update to you every 30 minutes instead this graph will change to every, uh to five hour range only which is much more precise much more up to date in my opinion and uh and that's the reason why i like this watch so much and it will also do the same thing that mod master could that is have the second hands to point to you if there are any drop in atmospheric pressure reading at all using this ring huge ring over here similar thing as tiny lines of this mod master Castle actually highlighted this tiny line and make it bigger on this golf master so that explain why a golf master have this huge ring around on top this is to update to you the uh, change in atmospheric pressure is going down over over here it's going up all the way here if it's reach over than 10 the hands will stop in this position over here so down on this uh golf master similar thing again on the range man as you guys can see right now i already turned on the value and also the graph display on this watch you can do so using the adjust button and go into screen like so and look at that you could change the value display or graph display instead it's all up to you guys in my case right now i'll go with a graph display because it allows me to have a look at the uh, the graph the tendency graph and also the value both at the same time if i just uh, using or displaying the value the graph will be uh, uh, eliminated so over here we have a look right away that this graph could is like 48 hour range compared to this two g sharp watch at the back they only have 20 hour range this golf master has more precise range to every five hours depending on this depending on the setup back to this range man similar to again as soon as you enter the barometer mode it will start updating to you this value every five seconds for the first three minutes and after three minutes pass it will update to you every two minutes similar exactly similar as two of this g sharp watch at the back what makes the, this watch difference is that they have 48 hour graph tendency range that is all for the graph however it will also update to every two hours similar on the mod master it couldn't do what this golf master could so that's the specialty of the golf master that both of this g sharp watch couldn't do did you guys notice the fact that the range man don't have this uh, differential atmospheric pressure indicator at all on the watch face that is fine because the range man has a very big digital display already so basically if you go to screen and you turn the display to value you already have a very huge a big display about the atmospheric pressure change already and you don't necessarily need to use the analog hands anymore on this model i mean look at how clear it is basically they serve the similar function where it allows you to tell if there are any sudden change in atmospheric pressure right away at any angle at all look at that in the case of this analog digital model if we don't use this analog hand there are no way for us to be able to read the digital display at all because they are so tiny in there right that's as far as the difference what is the one single thing that every 3g shop watch triple system model will have is that they have this pressure alert function they all operates in a different manner but let me show you guys what i mean so the range man have that function in this adjust button over here that is called the barrel info so go to this mode and enable it and what it does is basically it will uh, alert you when there are sudden change in atmospheric pressure rating if you leave that off if anything change around you it will update the value but it won't alert you that there is a sudden change for example if the pressure suddenly drop from 1010 to 990 that's a huge indicator that the weather is deteriorating where it's gonna be bad it's gonna rain or thunderstorming coming you want yourself to be alerted if you want to turn that on the mod master you could do so as well it's in the adjust button press and hold it info will on and the barrel will appear over there and this is when this watch will alert you how uh when the uh, sudden change atmospheric pressure around you you will be able to see how this thing work 
on the scalp master because you'll have those indicators in analog form instead of digital form. So when you enter the barometer mode on this scalp master model, press the adjust button as well to turn that info on, this alert information on, a barrel uh, indicator will appear up there. And now, when I go back to home time, this hands, instead of showing tie graph, which is what it should be pointing at at home time, instead it's currently showing me default in the dot over there. So if there's sudden change in atmospheric pressure, for example, if the pressure drop down, this hand will move down to here, or if go up, it will go up here. If the, the pressure is going up and suddenly it went down, it will go to this uh, U-turn type of symbol there, and that's basically how it works, and it will also sending out a very distinctive alarm sound which is very unique as well this four logos is what you're gonna be seeing in this digital display on the uh, the bot master and also the arrangement all right keep in mind when you turn on this barrel info on it will drain a lot of energy out of your g-shock watches gas to actually allow this to happen because of how important this function is it could literally save lives if you know how to use it or if you live in a place where the uh, weather usually change in just like that especially by the beach like I am right now since this function is drain a lot of battery in your G-Shock watches when you turn this uh, info alert on your watch for example for this range man it will turn the GPS navigation off you cannot use the GPS as long as the info alert on so use the adjust button and press it and hold it to turn that off and same thing again use the adjust button on your G-Shock watches to turn that alert off while it is turned on, even the watch couldn't enter the power saving mode and the watch will keep running that function for 24 hours straight or until the battery is like very very low. For this two model, when the battery reached to L, for example, press the mode button and hold it. Look at that, M equal to medium. When it reached to L, the battery uh, or the function will be turned off. For the range man, however, when the battery or the uh, power reach to one bar only on this battery indicator over there then the function will be turned off automatically that's how important this function is all right what other thing that these three models have in common is that they have similar atmospheric pressure measuring range that is minimum at 260 degree hectopascal all the way to 1100 hectopascal if the measuring uh, exceed that range an error message will appear on the display panel and that's all that is the similarities of this three model Okay, now that we understand how the barometer work on our G-Shock watches, now we could enter the altimeter function for this model. Before I go to the altimeter mode, let's have a look back. What is the current atmospheric pressure reading in my room? So my golf master is telling me it is a 1009 hectopascal. My arrangement is telling me the same thing as well, 1009 hectopascal. My bot master is telling me the same thing as well, 1009 hectopascal. So they are pretty much accurate. And the computer in this G-Shock watches will calculate the altitude or elevation based on that values and tell me what is my current elevation. So let's uh, go to that from the bot master first because this one was made purely for that function for altimeter and also the compass. All right, go back to home time, press this LT mode. And this watch will show me a 36 meter above sea level. Pretty good. Although we didn't know if this is accurate or not because it's definitely purely a rely on the atmospheric pressure reading. And by the way, while I'm at it, this second hand will show a differential a change as well as similar way as the one from the barometer mode except we have ranging every 5 meters. When we enter the altimeter mode, this G-Shock watch will update to me this altitude rating every 1 second, including the graph. Look at this, it's currently being updated every 1 second for the first 3 minutes and it will update again every 5 seconds for an hour straight or I could set this thing up as well to every 2 minutes instead for 12 hours straight, which is right now 36 meters so that's why you are seeing right now one two three three five which is 36 we have an increment to every five meters so that's there is 35 over there if we reach to 40 this hand should go to number four you have a range all the way to plus minus 100 meter all the way over here or you can set this uh, precision to 1000 meter as well that is every 50 meter increment or decrement so that's as far as the mod master similar thing again or similar setting applied to this golf master as well 
where when you enter the altimeter mode similar to again it will take reading every seconds for the first um, three minutes and will take the reading again every five seconds for the first hour or you can set this to two minutes reading for first 12 hours straight as as you can see right now similar graph similar display and the reading is also telling me that it is currently 37 meter above sea level and look at the second hand as well it's showing us the similar thing again 10 20 30 35 or 37 meter above sea level let's have a look back over here oh we have 35 meter for the golf master is showing me 37 or 36 meter now oh this is all right this is interesting so we have two different rating over here now let's have a look on the range man model this range man is telling me that it is currently a thousand and nine hectopascal in my room so let's go to the altimeter mode on this range man all right press this crown and we'll enter the altimeter mode and bam look at that the, the measuring that the range man is showing me like is totally different from the one of from two of this g-shock watch at the back over here that is 73 73 meters like totally off so what this uh, what you are seeing right now the display part is just showing the value it didn't show the graph at all we could uh, change this screen as well similar way uh, where we change the screen on the barometer mode press the screen let's go to graph display instead and setting complete go back and now we can see the graph all right so we're looking at 72 meters in uh, current height down here is the base which is currently I'm at 72 meters above sea level depend based on my range man down here is the graph it will update every seconds as well for the first three minutes and update again every five seconds uh, when three minutes pass or i could set this uh, setting to every two minutes for 12 uh for 12 hours straight and this watch don't have this differential hand over here however we have it in digital which is over here but this part will also will only max out to ranging plus minus 3000 meters for this golf master and this mod master it have a maximum range to plus minus a thousand meter only all right for the graph on this uh range man this is much more precise actually all these dots over here will represent if i'm not mistaken they have the precision all the way to every one meter increment and you have a range to all the way to 200 meters from the bottom to the top for this two model over here each of those bars will represent every 10 meters and they only have a range to only 50 meters where only you can stack up to only five bars and that that is all and then you will erase everything back when you're going higher and higher in this case you have better understanding on the elevation because of, i mean this 200 meters pretty high in my opinion what makes this arrangement much more uh, like have totally different measuring is that because this watch will use the gps function to calculate the elevation as well not just the barometer it will also use gps and hence very precise measurement but you have to turn the gps on using the navigation button over here so now we know how this g-shock watch operates let us reset this g-shock watch before i go out you know to set the base reading to my room so press the adjust button for, on this golf master to differential reset look at that look at the hands will now showing me is zero so this 36 meter is currently my current height or current altitude when i go outside to the beach i'm expecting to see something like negative 36 meter or so for the mod master similar thing again oh it's not 34 meters now like totally different what's going on over here press the adjust button and hold it and we reset this hand to zero well now it's going to 235 it's very weird go to this arrangement could do the same thing again press the adjust button different reset press this over here and it will reset to zero look at that we are now at zero since this is the base measurement of elevation but i'm currently at 72 meters but i'm setting this 72 meter as a zero point and this is basically the graph so i'm gonna go out now walking to the beach and update and i'll, I'll stop filming back as i um, reach over there and just show you guys how this uh, measurement change all right Here we are now at the beach as you can see right now it's almost sunset already look at that I mean I don't have much lights left to work with so let's get this over with so we're gonna have a look at the altimeter on the range man we're giving me a reading of 
I only went down like negative 13 meters, which is weird. I found out my second day is much higher than that. And current altimeter stated by the arrangement is 59 meters. For this golf master, it's 24 meter. For this mod master, supposed to be the same as the uh, golf master, but slightly up 23 meters. So, seems like we're having three different readings as well this time, which is, I mean, this is weird, man. I have no idea which one is accurate, but I know that the strange man have GPS function built in it. So let's uh, try to turn the GPS on and probably it will fix this uh, calculation over here by pressing the uh, just, I'm sorry, the navigation button and press and hold it. And it should go, all right, receiving log now. GPS signal usually will be affected de depending on where you are. For example, I'm right now like literally below a huge tree look at that beach tree basically so it's usually gonna take quite some time because there are a lot of obstructions obviously despite this range man was I believe to be fully antenna I mean this watch is actually an antenna you're literally wearing an antenna on top of your wrist that happens to have triple sensor and also happen to have uh, ability to tell the time this I uh, see how this is how I see the range man uh, GPS model is actually. I mean, just look at how it's taking a lot of time right now just to take a GPS reading. I mean, this part, this angle over here is very much exposed, but from the Castro manual book, they actually state that it's gonna take this watch a few minutes. They didn't actually mention how many minutes precisely, just few minutes for the watch to calculate the altimeter so let's turn the altimeter now and I'm just gonna leave it over here and you know what and see how or how many minutes or you know how this process gonna works out as this uh, model is taking GPS signal to where I'm right now look at that it's probably stating already 80 meters all of a sudden look at that dropping 18 meters already out of nowhere just like that so which is pretty high but I'm literally like Two to three meters above sea level actually so this watch should show me zero meter yeah we're now at 1980 now come on i'm ho i'm really hoping the gps to work over here so yeah if this is the case if we are stopping at 18 meters this range man actually aren't as i mean they are precise but aren't as different compared to the golf master and the mod master reading because they are at 23 meters above sea level and this one's like 18 meters it's like five meters off which is in my opinion to be still forgivable for a watch i mean this is a watch not a dedicated tool to tell elevations yeah this is impressive man look at that i'm not sure what your verdict about this task that i'm doing right now this is just a simple task if you have more idea on what else should i do what type of test should i perform to ensure or to have a better result at this type of uh, altitude comparison or barometer comparison leave your comment down below but for now i believe this is all that that i have that i could think of very basic stuff very uh, short i try to make this video short at least but anyway guys that's it thank you very, very much for watching leave a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe for more video coming up in the future this is g-shock high fashion channel and um